Hello and welcome to Access DNR, the monthly video newsletter from the Maryland Department of Natural Resources. In this episode, we celebrate a return to the wild, look for signs of life in our waters, restore native trees to our land, and more. I'm Greg Bortz, your host for this edition of Access DNR. We begin on Maryland's Atlantic coastline at the end of a successful rehabilitation effort by our colleagues at the National Aquarium. The occasion was the release of Marie Tharp, a female harp seal rescued in January. The day begins with staff and volunteers setting up a safety perimeter. As heartwarming events such as this often draw a healthy crowd, even with inclement weather. When the time is just right, the transport carrier's gate is opened and the seal is free to make her way down the beach to the inviting surf. But first, she takes some time to truly enjoy the beach at Assateague State Park. Once done with playtime, the seal takes to the waves and swims away, healthy and happy. Next up, we celebrate Earth Day in one of the best ways we know, by planting trees. Our cameras followed staff from the Park Service, along with Maryland Conservation Corps members and several volunteer families, all working in the East Beach area of Sandy Point State Park. The planting sites chosen were once home to ash trees, damaged by a problematic invasive insect, the emerald ash borer. Throughout the day, the team worked to plant, mulch, and water nearly a dozen new sycamore, sourwood, and red maple seedlings. These species are native to Maryland and an asset to local wildlife. For our last recap, we travel the creeks along the Chester River in hopes of understanding the quality of spawning habitat for several important fish species, specifically blueback and alewife herring and their close cousins, American hickory shad. At each site, a biologist deploys a fine mesh net designed to collect eggs and larval fish carried along by the water's current. After a five-minute sample period, the net is cleaned and its contents transferred to a specimen jar for later examination. Salinity, dissolved oxygen, and temperature is also documented. When complete, the survey's data will be compared against prior research and will help scientists better understand habitat quality and fish passage constraints. This information will help inform a variety of land conservation decisions. Looking forward, the heart of the boating season will soon be upon us, and as always, we want to encourage the safe and responsible use of our state's many spectacular waterways. For that, we turn to our colleagues in the Natural Resources Police. Thanks very much, Greg. We're always glad to help. As boating safety goes, there's one tip above all others we must promote. Wear your life jacket. It's impossible to overstate their importance. State law requires their use by anyone under the age of 13 while underway on boats less than 21 feet in length. But we strongly encourage that same level of preparedness for every single person, in every instance, on every single boat. In emergency situations, stowed life jackets may not be accessible, and statistics show that a vast majority of boating accident fatalities are the result of drowning, a tragedy that could have easily been avoided. Please, stay safe out there. Spread the word and encourage others to do the same. For more tips and safety requirements, please check out our website. Thanks for your time and have a terrific season. Back to you, Greg. We can all spread the word on May 17th, which is Wear Your Life Jacket to Work Day. Please set a reminder to join us. You'll get a few odd looks and bring some much needed attention to water safety. Well, that's a wrap for this month. For the latest news and programs, please follow us on social media, subscribe to our magazine and newsletters, and download our free mobile app. For those of you on YouTube, please give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to share our videos with family and friends. I'm Greg Bortz. Thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time on Access DNR.